Shalom. First and foremost, our praise is our power, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world everybody calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name Yahweshai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweshai, meaning He is salvation. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one of the world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth of risk of their own eyes throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathim, listen, listen, learn in sincerity and the truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto here with another lesson. We're getting right, we'll get right into it. Some current events and prophecy. Right? Got a couple articles here. One, two, three, four. Four articles, maybe five, maybe six, but four articles, Lord willing. Right? And we'll touch this first one here. Governments worldwide losing trust of people. It's a statement by the UN. This came out on RT News, January 17th, 2024. A hopeful year that Jacob's trouble comes to pass. All right, we'll just read a paragraph or two and then we'll touch a scripture and we'll move on to the next article, Lord willing. It says here, Antonio Guterres claims a reformed global body could repair the loss of faith in public institutions. Right? So we see where this diabolical madman is going. Now they're saying, listen, we need to reform and, and repair the global body. What does that mean? They want to bring in the NWO. And how they how are they going to go about it? Order ab, cha order ab chaos, right? They, 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 order ab chaos, right? They present, they, they, they stir up chaos, right? And then bring a solution, right? Let's get a uh, first Maccabees. And this has been a, a plan of the elites, Esau's elites, going right back to uh, what we're going to read here, the account of Antiochus, 1 Maccabees 1. Verse 41. And it reads, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom, right? Antiochus was that wicked root. Came out of uh, the four generals under Alexander after Alexander passed, right? Of the, of the Seleucid Empire. Right? First Maccabees 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, right? A NWO, a new world order, right? These elites want to bring in a one world government, right? The image of the beast, the image being the, the system, the beast being NATO, the EU, America, the great, Babylon, the great. And then ultimately his device is M-A-R-K, his C-HIP is Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. Verse 42, and everyone should leave his laws, right? You're no longer going to do your own thing, your laws. You're now going to come under the umbrella of King Antiochus, right? And that's what these ruling class elites want to do today. Put you under the, under the umbrella of the one world government and bring the sea hip. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. Right, and we have that today. Two thirds of our people are going to are going to run with the beast, and co-sign with the image, which is Esau's system. Right, going back to the to, to the to the pagan Roman Empire, the image of Rome, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great is Rome 
and sacrifice unto idols and profane the Sabbath. Right, in truth, there's your people today, right? All they do is sacrifice to idols, worship other gods. Profane the Sabbath, how do they do that? Not not walking in the ways, statute of commandments of Yahweh Shimei Oshai. Right, this article right here came out on the Daily Wire, January 17, 2024. It says the eye-popping interest payment spike on our national debt. Combined net worth of nation's most prominent billionaires wouldn't cover a single year's interest payment analysis shows, right? So America the Great, Babylon the Great is trillions of dollars in debt, man. The combined net worth of the most prominent billionaires in the United States would not be enough to pay a single year's interest payment on America's ballooning national debt, debt, which currently stands at an astonishing $34 trillion, right? So they got to collapse this thing, man. America the Great, Babylon the Great can't get out of the debt, right? Trillion, trillions of dollars of debt. Isaiah 14, verse 10. Isaiah 14, verse 9. Hell, right, hell being a, con a condition, hell being the grave, from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. Right, and this is the ultimate. Uh, um, America the Great is not going to get out of this, man. She, 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 she's circling the drain. It stirreth up the dead for thee, the dead, the other nations. Even all the chief ones of the earth, right? These other rulers. Look at what uh, uh, Putin. Look at how Putin's carrying on, right? And 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 Kim Jong Un, the power drunk North Korean, and 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 Xi Jinping, the ruler of of of, of the Moabites, China. Right? Scriptures say, "These shall hate the whore." Right? All these other nations, all these other kingdoms are going to turn on America the Great. It hath raised up from the thrones. All the kings of the nations, right? These other nations are raising their their leaders are 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 are, are getting ready to battle cry on the whore, America the Great, Babylon the Great. Verse ten: All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Right? The, the spotlight is in America. The, is on America the Great. These nations are seeing that she's become weak, right? Hey, listen, $34 trillion in debt, it just said the America's billionaires could not combine and pay the interest payment on the debt. Verse 11, here's the point. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. Their pomp, right? Their pomp is brought down to the grave, right? The death of their pomp. What does pomp mean? To be, to be uh, exalted, to be prideful. Let's look at this word uh, pomp in the in the, in the in the Hebrew in the Strong's. Thy pomp Strong's H one three four seven. Strong's H thirteen forty seven. Gaon. Gaon. Exaltation, Majesty, Pride, Majesty, Exaltation, Excellence of Nations. Of power of the Jordan, pride, arrogance in a bad sense. Right, their pride, their arrogance is being brought down to the grave. In the Strong's, the same as H1346, arrogancy, excellency, majesty, pomp, pride, proud, swelling, right? Babylon the Great, that their pomp is being brought down to the grave. And the noise of thy vials, musical instruments, right? Music is no longer a. Uh, uh, doesn't no longer have the happy, happy go lucky feeling to it, man. That vibration of happy music is gone. The worm is spread under thee, right? The worm, the worm here is decay. Their infrastructure is decaying, right? Their roads are eroded. Their buildings are 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 are, are, are uh, in need of repair. And the worms cover thee. Right. 
America the Great, Babylon the Great, is, is circling the drain, man. All right? Next headline. says here Americans can no longer afford their cars right for decades car ownership has been a trademark of the American lifestyle with vehicles becoming symbols of freedom independence and even rebellion as well as a necessity but in 2024 the country's legendary love story with the automobile appears to have reached a crucial point of potential no return as cars have become unaffordable to millions. Life has generally gotten more expensive in the aftermath of the emic, including the cost of cars, car insurance, and car repairs. Right? And this inflation is going to continue to climb. This hole that America is in, she cannot get out of it. She can't be healed. Let's get that scripture real quick. Jeremiah 50. Jeremiah 51 and 7. And it reads, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Right? The Lord set up America, the great Babylon, the great, for her promises, for her prominence. Right? Scriptures say the Lord... Uh, take it down one and set it up another rough, Roughly paraphrasing That made all the earth Drunken right the earth all, all these nations all these kings have drunken of her, of her wine Right and what's her wine Her philosophy her democracy Her spiritual fortification The nations have drunken of her wine Therefore the nations are mad Right and that's why all these other Listen you have countries You have uh, countries like Iran they don't like they don't like America the Great, Babylon the Great, because now their women are becoming out of order over there, man, drinking the wine of Babylon. Eighth verse, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take bomb for her pain, right? The bomb is a bomb. Bomb is a healing ointment. Uh, 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 a healing ointment, right? This bomb is likened to uh, bailouts, stimuluses. Right, no amount of bailouts and stimuluses can stay can save America the Great, Babylon the Great. If so be, she may be healed. There's no healing for Babylon. She's through. Right, first first world country, America the Great. Right, middle class Americans can't pay, can't afford vehicles. It's gonna get worse. Haggai one and six. Ye have sown much and bring in little. And right, and this is this is this is what Jake, this is how Jake has lived. This is this is this is talking about Jake, but it's now falling on our enemies. And who's the chief enemy, the chief offender? Esau Edom. Right? Middle class Edomites aren't ready for, 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 for affliction. They don't know how to deal with it. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Right? You work and your pay is little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Right? Not enough food. You're, you're rationing your food. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. Right, your money is gone. Every time you, your paycheck comes in, it's allocated. Car repairs. Right, that's the bag with holes. Groceries. Your AC broke. Right, your basement flooded. Right, your 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 roof your roof needs new shingles. Right, your condo fees have gone up. Right, your rent has gone up. Your mortgage, the interest rate on your mortgage has gone up. Right, the bag with holes. Your car note, your car payment, your car repairs. That's the bag with holes. These Babylonians, and it's only going to get worse. Right. And these last two right here, we'll just read the headlines. How will Pakistan react to Iran's airstrikes, right? Because uh, Iran shot off missiles. 
Karachi, Pakistan, in an unprecedented act, Iran on Tuesday attacked the alleged bases of a, of a jihadist group with a missile and drone strike in Pakistan, southwestern Balochistan province, which shares long borders with Iran, right? There's that one. This one here. China warns U.S. against escalating strikes on the Houthis. China is warning the U.S. against escalating its attacks on Yemen's Houthi rebels as the conflict in the Red Sea increasingly threatens both Beijing economic, Salakia, both Beijing's economic and diplomatic interests. Right? So China is telling America, yo, listen, you need to ease off. You need to calm down on those strikes on the Houthis because we have economic interests in that, in that region. Right? And this one right here. Pentagon insider warns we are on the brink of World War III after latest Iran attack, right? Also from uh, today, Wednesday, January 17, 2024, the hopeful year that Jacob's trouble comes to pass. A source inside the U.S. Pentagon has warned the world is on the brink of a major conflict as Iran and its allies continue to launch attacks across the Middle East. Right, and Iran has your Iran has uranium rods, man. Right, but we know this is the, the this is the will of the Lord, right? Because the scriptures say we're going to close with that scripture. One woe was what well, the second woe was passed. Behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right, the scriptures tell us about World War One, World War Two. Right, Revelation eleven, verse fourteen. We'll close with this. And it reads, the second world was passed, right? World War II. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. The third war, the third woe, World War Three, man. Scriptures, it's all over. The scriptures, let's, the scriptures tell us, a matter of fact, let's get into the scripture, right? That it's going to be fought. And how is it going to be fought? It's going to be following missiles, man. Isaiah 9, verse 5, and it reads, For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, right? Ancient wars, ancient battles, they're fought on the battlefields, hand-to-hand -hand combat, sword, hand -hand combat, swords, axes, horses, right? Garments rolled in blood. Men would bleed out on the, men would bleed out on the battlefield. But this, right, this war shall be with burning and fuel of fire, those missiles, man, right? But before that, the time of Jacob's trouble and the mandate worldwide of, this, of the CHIP, the MOTB, the grain of rice, the Revelation 13, verse 16 on down. So with that, I pray you edified, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, double honors. To the apostles and elders, a great millstone to teach one rule well. Shout out to the hopeful elect.